Sorry guys, the phone went off. Um, so my so um, make this like the the what? It looks like um, kind of like yeah, God. But um, so she got the guy got back. He um, uh, yeah, whatever. I forgot. That's what your dad every day. Took the newspaper to their door. Oh yeah, tell them this that story. And the lady gave him. Yeah, tip. tell them the story. The story. Oh, from the beginning. Yes. So this poor lady's husband had a stroke, and he went to get the newspaper from the front yard in the mail one day. And their house sat up on a hill, and he tripped, and he rolled all the way down the rest of the hill. And he lay behind some little short bushes, but you couldn't see him there. And poor man laid there all day because he couldn't get anybody's attention, any of the cars to see him. You know, he would sit up every now and then and he would wave and yell, but nobody saw him. So it wasn't until his wife came home from work that she saw her poor husband laying in the grass. So they asked your daddy. She asked him, she said, she told him what happened and she said, could you bring the newspaper up to the door so that he doesn't go out and try to get it anymore? And she said, I'll give you a dollar a day. So your dad thought about it and he said, that's a pretty good deal. Oh, so like like each month you have like thirty dollars. Mm-hmm. Wait So, but the bad part, the next summer he went to camp, and Aunt Jackie hated camp, so she was asking me not to. That's three hundred twelve dollars a year. So pretty darn good deal. So he said he told Jackie that if she would deliver his newspapers while he was at camp, that however long he was away, she could have that money. So... I did not joke. So I... But the thing was, she was so little I had to drive her. Because she was like falling out the car and, and the bag with the newspapers was so heavy she couldn't lift it. So at the end of the month, she went around to collect and she came home and she was real sad. And I said, what's the matter? Jeffy already collected. He collected before he went to camp and he took that money with him. She said, I've been doing all this work and I'm not gonna get paid. And I said, yes you are, cause mommy's gonna make him pay you when he gets home. And I did. He was not happy. He said, well, no, I don't have any money. I said, but you didn't earn any money. Jackie earned the money. Actually, so did I, because it was my car I had to drive down the street. But did you, did you do what you do? No. No, I just drove Jackie around. Cause she didn't want to go to camp, but she wanted to do things like take, she took tennis lessons. She learned how to fence and, and she went to her dance class. So all I did all that time was drive because they weren't in the same places. The, the fencing was all the way in Cleveland Heights. I had to drive her over there. The tennis lessons were, at some tennis club, so we had to drive her there, and then we'd have to drive her down to Chagrin and uh, Lee for her ballet classes. So by the end.